Shalom, Shalom. So I'm at Matthew 13 and and I'm sorry, verse 1. And the great multitude were gathered together unto him so that when he went into a ship and sat, the whole multitude stood on the shore and he spake many things unto them in parables saying, Behold, a sour went forth to, to sow and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of the earth and when the sun was up they were scorched because they had no root they were withered away and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them but other but the other fell into good ground and bore forth bore forth some fruit and a hundred some sixty and some thirty fold he who who has ears to hear let him hear so we know that when uh if you have ears to hear that means that you if you have ears to, to hear and eyes to see everybody has those but we know ultimately you gotta have the spirit on you to actually understand these things these different parables that's inside the bible all right so i'm gonna go to I'm gonna go back to verse five it says some some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up because they had they had no deepness of the earth and and when the sun was up they were scorched because they had no root they were withered away all right so that no root part is you're not grounded in this truth you don't have um you ultimately don't have um you don't have a foundation all right uh, what was that? Verse 6. I'm going to go down to... I'm going to go down to verse... Verse 17. For verily I say unto you that many, many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things that which, which ye see and have not seen them and to hear those things which ye which ye hear and have not heard them so we know the prophets of old are back today and um you know um back in those days they wanted to see the signs that yahweh shot and the most i told them about like they, they wanted to witness the, witness those things for for their for themselves to see the downfall of their enemy all right so what was that Okay, verse 18. Hear ye therefore the parable of the sower. When any any one heareth the one of the word of the kingdom and understand it not, then cometh the wicked one and catcheth away that which was sown in his heart. This is he which received the seed by the wayside. So the seed is the truth. They heard they heard the word, but it was taken away by an evil spirit or something. Um Verse twenty. But he that, re <clears throat> but he that received the seed into stony places, the same is he that heareth the word and anon with joy receive it, and anon with joy receive it, receiveth it. Yet he hath not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution arises of because of the word, by and by he is offended. So that's a person that doesn't have a foundation. They can't take the heat that comes with the word different persecutions and um say like um somebody uh questions what he understands they, they 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 are offended basically and um ultimately they just they just can't they can't keep up with the pressure all right so verse 22 he also that received seed among the thorns he is he he is he that heareth the word and care of this world and the deceitful deceitfulness of riches choke the word and becometh unfruitful. So you got a lot of celebrities out there. They know of the word. They know the, the truth, but they might hear it, but they care too much about the world and these worldly riches. But he that receive seed into the good ground, he is is he that heareth the word and understandeth it, which also beareth fruit and bringeth forth some hundred and some sixty. Oh, it's lucky. Bring, bringeth forth some and hundredfold, some sixty, 
Psalm 30. So the one that receives the word in good ground, the one that has uh, a good foundation and the, the spirit is dealing with him, um, which is ultimately going to be an elect, elect man of Israel, um, they're going to bring forth uh, more fruit, more believers of the elect. All right. And that was the parable of the the parable the parable of the, the sower or the sour. So I hope that was out of fun to you guys. Call Halay Yamla, Yahweh by Shimi, Yahweh Shah by Shimakash Dash. Double line said the Elzin Apostle Grimmel, so I'm telling you, shoot me real well. Shalom.